Hey guys, it's German92 with bringing you the gameplay of headquarters on Dome. 158 kills and 18 deaths. I am part of the EG clan of Extreme Gaming and I'm providing this gameplay to our channel of Extreme Gaming for Life. This is our first gameplay. I'm very excited about it just to give you guys the gameplay, which I think, in my opinion, was pretty pasty. Not uh, taking that part in there, and not taking that part in there because I thought it was a grenade. But um, in this gameplay, I managed to get the Moab with, yeah, with over 100 kills, oh, 150 kills. <coughs> I'm using the UMP45 with the silencer extended max, uh, with the perk setup of scavenger hardline and steady aim. Uh, all, pro perk, all pro perks. Uh, for the strike package, uh, I'm using the assault strike package with the predator missile AH6 and pave low. So let me tell you a little bit about this game mode, headquarters. If you're a new uh, Call of Duty player and uh, haven't played headquarters or uh, haven't played any Call of Duty, and you're a new player. Headquarters is basically a game mode where you, uh, where automatically spawns a uh, certain uh, capture point on the map that you need to hold on and uh, hold on and capture. The activation time of it is 30 seconds, so until that time you have a time to run in and hold out the point, and then when the activation time is over, you gonna capture it. And each and every time, there is more players capping the headquarters, the faster the meter goes uh, when capturing it. So here I am showing uh, you right now, actually when I'm here going to the headquarters, I'm capping it. And when more uh, friends come, this is a little spot up, sped up, but I, I think you see the difference. But it speeds up the capture depending how many players is there to capture it and um, also when you are have captured the headquarters uh, you don't respawn until you die you don't resp I mean you don't you don't respawn after you died until the enemy has destroyed the headquarters which I which also goes much more faster when uh, more enemies or more, more of their teammates are in for taking the capture. That was that was sick. But yeah, this is basically just destroying the hell out of these guys. I had very fun with this when I was playing this. I was playing with four, uh, three of my friends in my party. Not of the actual clown members, but still playing with them. They're also good players, but uh, they got to be pretty useful on me. As well as where the two guys uh, that were weren't in our party. They were damn useful because we captured the headquarter headquarters this in this certain point. So we had a uh, little bit over 300 score. After that, we just uh, stood back and relaxed and kill, these, kill the hell out of these guys. We didn't need to capture any more points because we knew that with all that air support I had in the air, right now there is my H6 and soon, yeah, there comes the Fable. With all this air support in there, they didn't have a standard chance of getting any headquarters. So there's our clown leader with trolling. But yeah, few a few ridiculous deaths here, but uh, the most a part of what makes this uh, good gameplay is that uh, the sick amount of kills that we got. And also, the score differences were insane. It was like, uh, at the end of the game, I you will see it, but in the end of the game, I have 8,500 points, and the second one, the best in our team. The one that wasn't in our party had 
a little bit over 3,000 score. So here I'm basically starting to build up the Moab streak. With the assault strike package just uh, holding this, this uh, certain area, this specific area, the central area, area in the dome. Just controlling it just uh, because they're spawning the sides. I'm taking good advantage of it and uh, each and every time I have something to get safe in, safe uh, behind too. And the UMB-45 is that uh, much powerful, that good weapon, that good of a weapon that it actually kills uh, sometimes even the long range. But you need to be accurate with it. Even though it's a medium to uh, short range w uh, weapon, it can manage on longer ranges as well because of the. I think uh, the main part, main thing, reason is that I'm using the extended mags with it. The silencer uh, just uh, tampers its the range a little bit, but uh, it's okay. With the extended mags, it's uh, all repaired right there. <laughs> this is actually funny. It's like every all the time I have some support in the air, and there I got my first predator fail. You're gonna see a, a bunch of them in in this gameplay. Just using the predator missile, and no one, <laughs> no one is there. I don't know, they're all using blind eye, I don't know. Yes, they're not using... Uh, <laughs> Here I get a little lucky. Just a little panic type there. Yeah, but also about the this match, after the match uh, I got to the game summary watching the <laughs> ridiculous amount of XP I got in a single game was like almost 100,000 XP it was pretty amazing I was, we, we I will I was laughing and my friends was laughing laughing to it uh, it was oh, come, on, come on look at this it's like pay blow every single minute in, in every single minute here I get lucky I can uh, I get saved by my teammate there But yeah. Oh, let me tell you a little bit about uh, this HD PVR that I just bought to bring you guys. Oh, look at that! Look at that! There's three guys, and all of them are sprayed by my air support. So I guess they didn't have a blind eye on. And there, I got also the title of a thousand kills with Pavlo. Much of uh, good challenges completed in this match. But yeah, I bought the HD PBR. A uh, couple of, uh, almost a uh, couple of weeks ago, it arrived to me somewhat three to four days ago, and I st immediately I started to get starting to get hand of it, trying to record my gameplays with <laughs> with a not so good success at the first first time I tried to record this uh, video that I was about to post uh, the quality was just horrible I j just uh, like even a uh, scarred fucking here here look at this look at this dead man's hand but yeah it was like 480p here I killed the same guy with a predator that had the dead man's hand on But yeah, that it could have cost me my Moab streak, Moab streak when I when I would have died uh, there, and that was that one is also goddamn close. I'm just trying to wallbang the guys at the headquarters, but they're all dead. So, with the friends to capture the headquarters and still hold out the same area here. But yeah, I got the HD PVR just, uh, it was something like 200 euros. Yeah, I, I'm uh, European and I live in Finland. There we go, we got the Moab right there. And here starts with a kill streak. 
just dodging everyone's martyrdoms and uh I was lucky enough that I had the air support in there all of the time to help me. I was a little bit unlucky there just getting three just getting three kills uh with the Moab but it's okay. Because I managed to hold on to my kill streak a little bit longer there. From the twenty four to forty three. I'm not sure did I manage to get even that many kills. I'm not sure. Does it uh, count the air support kills as well to the kill streak after you get the Moab? I'm not pretty sure about that. But here I'm just uh, destroying them. Until I'm stupid enough to go to the, ga to the cave that they're spawning into. And then I just gonna get destroyed by guys just waiting for me there. Here he g uh, it, it, it gets yeah he's right here. I think the guy is a little bit lucky there. But yeah, I fast forward it to just to get this on the YouTube. So just uh, oh look at this. <laughs> Try harding to get it down. I still get tagged. And here is another predator fail. But yeah, I fast forward it. Uh, this gameplay because uh, after the Moab and after my death it was just pretty basically all the same just killing people until I I was some with after the Moab I, after I got the Moab it was like a 90 plus and did like 50 kills look at this tank call did a little 50 kills over there hence the last minute getting the last two kills with one stealing my final kill cam would have been nice to see it in the final kill cam but yeah that's basically 440 team scores in headquarters with the final kill cam of ACR noob but yeah that was uh, 6 score look at that 158 to 18 the score differences are sick just look at that but yeah, I'm Jermu, and that was the gameplay, so enjoy. Hey guys, thanks for watching our first video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. It will help us a lot. See you later. Peace.